Well, this is a special time of year in the European footballing cycle. It's where it all begins again. The lifting of the trophy, the winners' medals. That was all back in May. A mere reminder, a wreck of the glory that was and what may be to come, perhaps, for one of these. So it's back, bigger and better than ever before. We hope everybody is ready for another ride on the emotional roller coaster. Bring it on, Peter. I'm looking forward to a competition that always delivers entertainment, whether through its football or indeed its supporting cast of, of emotions. Neither of these teams will want a, a trip back to the drawing board after this, so I think we can expect something quite lively. There's the whistle. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Marquinhos, he's one of the toughest and most competitive centre-backs in the business. He's the kind of player you can rely on to always be just where you need him, making a vital interception or just making life difficult for the opposition to get through. And that's a, a very valuable characteristic. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Ferretti, Neymar... Di Maria, massive leap, danger averted for now, and it's Kazawa, and here's Di Maria, shot a goal, goal Paris Saint-Germain! With time and space aplenty, he was never going to miss. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Paris Saint-Germain ahead, one goal to the good. He acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Ferretti. It's out of play for a goal kick. Now it's Zapata. Zapata, and Zapata! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Battles to win it, but he'll have a go. Your attempt, just the wrong outcome. Well, I suppose it wasn't the worst attempt if you consider how far out he was. Kuzawa. And here's Neymar. And it's Ferrati. That's gone a long way up and away. Marquinhos drives it forward. Paris Saint Germain are seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1 0 lead to show for it. Good, they have breathing space. Great corner, and he did the rest. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Things starting to look very comfortable. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moves. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. 
Josip Ilicic. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Ilicic. Atalanta have a free kick. Well, sometimes a loose foul can trigger a completely different spell of play and uh, it makes even less sense. Joy. And they are dragging it back. Game on again. Oh, that is a bit special. This is threatening to become a really good game. I think they can sense a comeback here, and so can this crowd. It's all systems go now. Zawa tried to play it through. Look, he's offering an apology to... Chance! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stopped. He was so quick off the mark there, read the ball beautifully. If only he could have found a half-decent finish. Drives it towards the front. And it's Di Maria. Dinks one in. Oh, that's clever. Chance! Mbappe, Di Maria, a buccaneering run from the defender, big chance, corner, good reason for optimism here. Hatterball is there to heave it away, forward it goes. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. Luis Muriel has got himself a free kick. Just brushed off the ball there. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. And he's going to have his name taken. the final action of the first half. So a really good half of football, three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. It's still one of these games, as both sides have shown they have goals in them. As for the next one, should it arrive, um, that may have a bigger bearing as to who emerges victorious. Paris Saint-Germain leading by one in... Has a hit! And it's Gay. Di Maria. to get it forward quickly right through the middle gets wrestled off the ball and back to the keeper Marco Verratti Kozawa it's a loose ball that's a ball hoists it forward Josip Ilicic Across the field it goes. Luis Muriel has it in a wide position, so what next? Meunier. Di Maria. Meunier. Di Maria. And here's Neymar. Neymar! Oh, bang on target.
Neymar gets away from his opponent. And the shot! He scored! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So here comes the substitution. So the lead now is two. Look, this position ought to convince them to increase their lead. I think they should uh, be really positive about this now, Peter. Forward pass. Kimpembe. Meunier. And it's played forward. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Chance to break. Marco Verratti. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Di Maria looking to penetrate opposition lines. He's got options out wide. Caught offside that time. So there's going to be another change here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Hoists it forward. Looking for space out wide. Mbappe has a goal! That would have been game, set and match. Well, that ought to have wrapped it up, Peter. He may well regret that, you know. Mbappe. Now it's Neymar. Mbappe. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably... Cautionary, uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Paris Saint-Germain are making a change now. And it's Herrera. And the shot! Oh, should have put that away. Good idea, just poorly executed. Always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Nicely measured pass. Oh, that is asking for trouble. He gets past his man. Going for goal! And it's there! And they are pulling clear here. Paris Saint-Germain are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Starting to look like a done deal now. Up towards the front line. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. And that is it, the referee has seen enough.